Almost all of us have to pay council tax, but the amount varies massively depending on where you live. Hannah, Lucy and Zoe are in Oakham, which, under Rutland Council, has the highest rates in the country. Do you guys feel like you're getting value for money from that? Not at no, all. Not no. in the slightest, no. I think it's, um, it's reached a point where we're seeing not just a lack of development in the town, but also an actual reduction in the infrastructure and in the back. facilities. Yeah. It's stripping back, so we're paying more and more and more and getting less and less and less. It's just making an already unaffordable situation harder. Mm. Yeah. You know, you're already um, trying not to turn your heating on as much as possible to save those few extra pennies, mm. and now those few extra pennies are going to go into the council's pocket. People pay council tax based on the type of property they live in, calculated all the way back in 1991 and the value it was then. It's tough for people like Lucy, Zoe and Hannah in Rutland. They live in an area with the highest council tax in the whole of the country, at over £2,400. Nottingham, Lewis, Dorset and Wildon, not far behind, all in the top pairs of tax. By comparison, three of the lowest paying places are in London. If you live in a band D property in Westminster, you're only paying £883 for the privilege. When we look at proportion of income, people in Mole Valley Council area are paying over 8% of their income on council tax. But at the other end of the scale, in southwest London, Wandsworth, people are paying just 2.1%. Council tax is the definition of a postcode lottery. Houses here in Wandsworth can cost millions of pounds, but people are spending a lower proportion of their income than people in poorer areas. And there's plenty more inconsistency across the system. Back in Oakham, and it also looks well to do. But Rutland Council says that masks some deprived areas and argues they receive much less funding from central government per household than other places. There is a, a fundamental message around fairness to £504 compared to £1,019 really simply isn't fair. Um, and that's all we're asking for, a little bit, bit more money to be fair. Over the coming weeks, Sky News will be looking at which councils are failing and how that affects the services we all depend on wherever we live. Tom Cheshire, Sky News, Oakham, Rutland.